Uh, no. <laughs> oh, I totally wasn't allowed here to park overnight, but I did. <laughs> no ticket. Hey guys, it's Monday, and as you might have seen me briefly mention in last week's vlog, so the vlog camera may or may not have fallen while doing that time lapse. What you say? Our dear, dear vlog cameras had to go RMP. It's been through a lot. So we're trying to research new replacement vlog cameras because I feel like a lot have come out since we've owned this one. So we're getting Nathan to see what's out there, what's worth it, and if there's a better option. You guys ready? I'm ready. Ready. So we can talk specs later, and then like, yeah. I don't know what you guys want specifically, but main like price wise, so the Mark II's out, that's at $799. It's a pretty solid camera, and you guys are already familiar with the other G7X. This is the Mark II. So II2. yeah, that's the Mark II? Yeah. That's the Mark II? Yeah. I thought that was Mark 1. R.I.P. by the okay. way, fam. All right, so scratch that one because you guys already have no, it. No, I mean, so it's good to know. Replacing it is an option. Replacing it is an option. You can get an open box one for $6.99, so okay. that's 100 bucks cheaper if you guys want it. The other one, I don't know, it's a bit higher price, but the Sony RX100 Mark 5, I think. Why Camera. is it more money, do you know? So you have more frame rate options. You have really, really slow mode. You can do 960, don't which you guys it. might not need. No. So yeah. that isn't big of a worry, but you also have three ND stops, or ND. The filters Ooh. built into the camera. Ooh, okay. So sunny cool. days, whatever, super bright, ND filter, boom, 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 boom. Good boom. Hey guys, it's Thursday, and a little update if some things look different. If you remember in last week's vlog, we lost a G7X baby. <laughs> Thank you, my backup singers. So this week we replaced it with a new camera and we want to try something new because we know and love the G7Xs but we're just like, I want to see what else is out there. So this new baby is the Canon M100 with a wide lens on it and so far I'm loving it. So I'll link it below if you want to check it out. Honestly, you'll just have to watch the rest of the vlog and see if you love it too. That's the best way to tell if yeah. stuff looks good. Second thing I wanted to say is, if you guys don't know, we have a podcast called A Little Bit A Lot where we talk about just things going on in our lives and we're working on getting a podcast cover art and we wanted to make it like really cool and special so we commissioned someone from Instagram to sketch us for the cover art of it. This is someone that had like drawn us before and we reached out to them we're like you want to draw us again? So we haven't seen it. Daniela just got the image in an email so we're gonna look at it together and react. So Claudia from Books and Ink on Instagram. I was like for this podcast it'd be cool if we had illustrated art. So many people have like drawn us so I just went to like my tagged photos and then found a photo that she illustrated and I was like yo we should ask her to do it. So we asked her, commissioned her, we're paying her. But it's cool because she's like a like a view to the star girls viewer. And now it's our pocket star. Okay, ready? Okay. Ah! Wow. Oh, it's so cute. That's really cute. That is precious. Oh they good? Oh yeah, it's really I think good. I just made the same face in my reaction just now as <laughs> drawn me is making. Ah. Put it side by side. <laughs> Peachy tone realness. It is. I know. It's so good. It's so pretty. Please go check her out on Instagram yeah. and give her a follow because she's dope. Uh, Clearly. And listen to our podcast. Available everywhere you listen to podcasts. A little about a lot. 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 Goodbye. I swear we'll talk more clear on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, it's Thursday night. And um, I just went and got my hair done. I know I did that last week. I think it was last week. Last week I got cut, today I got it dyed. I, I wanted it a little bit lighter. I don't know if you can really tell. What else? I went to two Christmas parties tonight. One's the YouTube space party and one's just like another party. So we're gonna do that. It's gonna be busy, but it's gonna be fun. One party I feel like is gonna be a little bit fancier. I don't know. What a time of year. It's like fancy outfits and then like the other party's theme is like camping and I'm like, what am I supposed to wear to that? How am I supposed to go from one party to another with the theme camping? So I might have like a bunch of clothes in my car. I'll have to figure this out. Okay, I'm sorry I didn't film much, but um, it was a good little YouTube party. I always like seeing our YouTube friends. Sometimes I only get to see them at the YouTube space. And um, when I was leaving, I don't know if I should tell you this, but they gave me five gift bags. It was only me that came, but they're like, do you want to bring an extra couple gift bags? And I was like, there's five of us on the team, so. <laughs> I went 
shopping at the EP space. Okay, all right, let's go. Another day, another podcast? Yeah. Yeah. So excited. So cozy. Cozy little podcast room. Hey guys, it's Friday night and um, my friend can't go to a concert. So I volunteer as tribute. I'm gonna go see Busting the Bass. We actually saw them at the YouTube Pulse event. They're badass and I think they're gonna kill it. Lego. Me and some of my like, I guess they're like mostly high school friends are having like a little Christmas thing. And I offered to host it at the loft because the loft is like Christmassy and beautiful and cute. I need to go pick some things up for it because we're all bringing stuff and doing like a brunch, which is fun. And I need to like set up the office a bit. So we have a couple hours. We gotta get some done. Smoked salmon, check. And um, Schmaltz is one of those places that like a work friend bought, brought me, like my boss technically, like a couple years ago. And it's just been such a treat place. It's like a little bit expensive, but their bagels are like so good and the toppings are so good, like pickled cucumbers. So like not pickles, pickled cucumbers. Um, it's just really good. And um, I would recommend it if you're in Toronto or in the area, but only the one at DuPont. Don't go to the one at Ossington. It's like way too busy and like way too like, mainstream. This is like the original location. But anyways, that's my contribution to the party and now let's go get ready. Okay, I'm at the office now and I have like less than 30 minutes to pull this place together and get it set up for everybody. There's six of us and we're doing like brunch as I said. So I want so that we can like eat, but I have to wrap my secret Santa gift. It's not really secret Santa, it's like Santa Steely or whatever, which I really like. Then you just kind of get like a nice present and then everybody like fights over them, but not like really fights. You just like draw numbers and then like you get to pick them and then steal it from other people. So basically you want to go last because then you can steal from anybody that's already opened. So I'm doing this like rose quartz roller and I don't know, I've never used one of these, but I've heard good things and I think they're like one of those beauty tools that are like really pretty, um, but you might not get one for yourself and they're not too expensive. Our budget was only $30. So I think this is really cute. I'm also throwing a face oil in here. I did want to mention the Stone Massage, who's like a friend of the TSG fam. She sells jade rollers or and rose quartz rollers and she hooked me up with that. So thank you. Oh, don't do that. Let's wrap this. What the hell is this song though? All right, we're ready. My favorite part about this table is the, like saws underneath it. Like, hey, party on the front, DIY on the bottom. We didn't wash our dishes on Friday. I'm looking at you, wherever you are. We all started doing a clothing swap. Is all of this stuff from Aritzia? <laughs> oh, that'd be great though. Most of it is. Oh, okay. This is. <laughs> I mean, oh, I want that. I would want. Whoa. Okay, come here. Ooh. Hey, I don't want to show my clothes. Wait, anymore. you should sell this stuff, girl. Well, if you guys Take it to Plato's closet. Another swap. This is cute. Okay, we're gonna play Santa Celia. Don't say what number you got. Should I show everyone? I'm gonna show everyone what I got. Sure, you can show. I test oh. saw it through the. She oh. Held it up the ah! Kyla cheated! You held it up to the I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Sarah, what'd you get? 
Don't tell each other. She like, just showed me. Then you can strategize like based on like who's getting what. Like, oh, Sarah's after me. She's yeah, Sarah, let's collude. No, don't collude. There I'm was kidding. no collusion. Am I the last one? Yeah. Don't tell us what it is. Okay, let's go. Whoa. Show us. Oh, what is that? Roller. The jade. Well, yeah. that's Rose Park, but yeah. Rose Park. I mean, I don't know who got that. I don't know. Okay, who's next? Me. I do not know. Steal or pick? What are we gonna do? I want to take it. Take it. Uh, but I feel bad. Do what you want. Okay. I just wanted a roller for so I long. <laughs> Justin, you're gonna have to blur this. Twelve functions. <laughs> it's so just sweet. five inches. <laughs> like, she she got yeah. This is my present. What? Oh, you want me? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Is it an Uber voucher? <laughs> oh, that's sick! I saw it said vroom on it. I was wondering what vroom meant. I, just, I couldn't make it specific because I have to send it to the email. Oh. Your wheels are getting upgraded this season. No more Uber pool! Hey guys, I'm having a lazy day at home. We had a bunch of plans to do stuff tonight and maybe today, but like nothing ended up happening so I'm just hanging out at home for now which I don't mind sometimes just being at home but I have a new plant that I want to put in a hanging planter and I went out last night to try to find a hanging planter that I liked and I didn't like any of them so I'm gonna make my own today so I have just a plain ceramic gray e white bowl and then also this is like a matching like it's kind of like a plate or like a really shallow bowl I'm not sure but they're from the same set so this actually fits under here really nicely so that's what I'm gonna put together to be my hanging planter and the reason I'm doing that is because I found like the biggest tip for me in keeping plants healthy and happy is to have good drainage for a while I thought I could get away with just doing like, a good layer of rocks in the bottom because a lot of people can get away with that but it just wasn't working for me so as soon as I switched a lot of my plants to having a pot with a hole in the bottom and then a place for the water to actually go out of the soil I found that made a really big difference for me. So that's what I'm gonna do. That's why I have this second bowl to go under that bowl so that the water can pool somewhere. So what I need to do is put three holes around the side here and one big hole in the bottom of this that the water can come out of the plant. So that's what I'm gonna do. We did a video a while ago about how to put holes in pots, but really the only thing you need to know is that you need a masonry drill bit, which is like this, this drill bit that's meant for a ceramic and tile. And then, I don't know, I saw people online using tape. I think it just helps them to add some grip so that the drill bit isn't sliding around on the ceramic. I'm gonna try that as well. Wow, okay, that took way longer than I remember it taking, but you do have to go slow with these things because if you go too fast, you're gonna crack it. So I have my little bowl here with three holes in the side and my big bowl with a hole in the middle. So let's go hang this thing. Okay, I just wanted to quickly show you guys how this turned out. So I ended up moving the knots from up at the top to in here. So the knots are inside the little drill hole so you can't see it because I wanted it to be like even more minimalist. But yeah, this was actually pretty easy to do. I love how it turned out. It's now hanging to my window with a little hook in the ceiling and she good to go.